You're listening to BBC Radio 3. It's just after four o'clock. Time now for today's broadcast of Choral Evensong, which comes live from Southwark Cathedral here in London. The canticles are sung to the setting in G by Stanford, and the anthem, with music by S.S. Wesley, is a setting of verses from Psalms 96 and 115. Ascribe unto the Lord, all ye kindreds of the people. And the service opens now with the music of Philip Moore, Christ being raised from the dead. The psalm appointed for this evening's service is number 49.
The Old Testament lesson is written in the book of the prophet Amos, the ninth verse. I saw the Lord standing beside the altar, and he said, Strike the capitals until the threshold shake, and shatter them on the heads of all the people. And those who are left I will kill with the sword. Not one of them shall flee away, not one of them shall escape. Though they dig into Sheol, from there shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, from there will I bring them down. Though they hide themselves on the top of Carmel, from there I will search out and take them. And though they hide from my sight at the bottom of the sea, there I will command the sea serpent, and it shall bite them. And though they go into captivity in front of their enemies, there I will command the sword, and it shall kill them. And I will fix my eyes on them for harm and not for good. But the time is surely coming, says the Lord, when the one who ploughs shall overtake the one who reaps, and the treader of grapes the one who sows the seed. The mountains shall drip sweet wine, and all the hills shall flow with it. I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel, and they shall rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink their wine, and they shall make gardens and eat their fruit. I will plant them upon their land, and they shall never again be plucked up out of the land that I have given them, says the Lord your God. Here ends the first lesson. For the office hymn at number 404 in the New English Hymnal, Lord of our life and God of our salvation, omitting verses 2 and 3.
The second lesson is written in the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, the 12th chapter, beginning at the 13th verse. Then they sent to Jesus some Pharisees and some Herodians to trap him in what he said. And they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality, but teach the way of God in accordance with truth. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? Should we pay them or should we not? But knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you putting me to the test? Bring me a denarius and let me see it. And they brought one. Then he said to them, Whose head is this and whose title? They answered, The emperor's. Jesus said to them, Give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's and to God the things that are God's. And they were utterly amazed at him. Some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, the man shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. There were seven brothers. The first married, and when he died, left no children, and the second married her and died leaving no children, and the third likewise. None of the seven left children. Last of all, the woman herself died. In the resurrection, whose wife will she be? For the seven had married her. Jesus said to them, Is not this the reason you are wrong? that you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For when they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the story about the bush, how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but of the living. You are quite wrong. And there ends the second lesson.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father the Almighty. From the end shall come to judge the great and dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So the Lord be with you. Thank you. 
The anthem is Ascribe Unto the Lord, a setting of verses from Psalms 96 and 115 by Samuel Sebastian Wesley.
Let us pray. We pray first for the world and for its needs and bring before God those places which are torn apart by war and strife, by human cruelty and oppression. We pray especially for the people of East Timor and for the United Nations peacekeeping body being established there. And we pray too for people struggling with the effects of natural disasters particularly the earthquakes in Taiwan and Turkey. And we pray for God's strength and presence with all who have dedicated their lives to the healing and support of those in need. Have mercy, O God, on our distracted and suffering world, on the nations perplexed and divided, Give to us and to all people a new spirit of repentance and amendment. Direct the counsels of all who are working to remove the causes of strife, to establish justice and freedom for all, and to bring hope and comfort to the afflicted, and hasten the coming of thy kingdom of life and peace and love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray next for Christ's whole church throughout the world and for our growth in faith, unity and discipleship. We pray for this diocese of Southwark, for Thomas our bishop and for the 33 men and women who within the next few days are due to be ordained deacon and priest for services in the parishes and communities of South London and Surrey. And we pray that as we recognize the richness and variety of God's gifts to his people, so we may respond more fully to his call to us all to serve him and one another in love and generosity. Remember, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercies, thy whole church, all who join with us in prayer, and all our brothers and sisters, wherever they may be in thy vast kingdom, who stand in need of thy grace and succor. Pour down upon us all the riches of thy mercy, so that preserved in soul and body, and steadfast in our faith, we may ever praise thy wonderful and holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then finally let us pray for ourselves and for one another, for our growth in faith and discipleship and for grace to know and to do God's will. Almighty God, in whom we live and move and have our being, who hast made us for thyself, so that our hearts are restless till they find their rest in thee, grant us purity of heart and strength of purpose, that no selfish passion may hinder us from knowing thy will, nor weakness from doing it but that in thy light we may see light clearly and in thy service find our perfect freedom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. To God the Father, who loved us and made us accepted in the Beloved, to God the Son, who loved us and loosed us from our sins by the shedding of his blood, to God the Holy Spirit, who sheddeth the love of God abroad in our hearts, to the one God in Trinity, be all glory and all worship, for time and for eternity. Amen.
As the heavens open over Southwark, we stand to sing our closing hymn at number 373 in the New English Hymnal. How shall I sing the majesty which angels do admire? Omitting verse 2.
overture to the occasional oratorio by Handel, bringing to a close today's broadcast of Choral Evensong, which came direct from Southwark Cathedral. The director of music was Peter Wright and the organist was Stephen Disley. And next Wednesday at four o'clock, Choral Vespers for the Feast of St Michael and All Angels comes live from Westminster Cathedral. <laughs>